There are scumbags out there who steal catalytic converters, although battery EVs don't have one, dumbass. But EV chargers have copper cables, and scumbags steal them too. Catstrap is a company so named because they developed a solution to prevent the theft of catalytic converters using a steel strap. And through all their testing, they've learned how to best deter various cutting devices and have developed a solution to protect EV charging cables. Here's Dave to explain how it all works. Hey there, my name is Dave. I'm uh, one of the co-founders of Catstrap and we make anti-theft devices for the EV charging space. Um, so we have the, the EV cable shield here, which you can see. Um, to the naked eye, it, it, it looks like a, an enlarged cable with a kind of a canvas uh, casing on it, but um, there's uh, two types of hardened steel that run along the length of the cable and we can actually peel this open and see how it works here. Um, and so uh, the external sleeving is just uh, an aesthetic and to make sure that there's no exposed metals, but um, every 12 inches there's a, a stainless steel tie that compresses around the cable and uh, kind of locks those uh, metal strips uh, around the cable um, and you know around the circumference so um, protects the cable from any type of conventional cutting tool um, and uh, yeah just basically makes it uh, very very difficult to cut and, and steal the cable. Yeah here we have a, an exposed portion of a level 3 um, charger and I think what's interesting is that there's two types of hardened steel um, materials that run along the length of the cable. Um, the reason is that there's no one cutting tool that's uh, effective at cutting both types. So we have some ultra hardened uh, strip steel here um, and then aircraft cable uh, which alternate around the per, uh, circumference of the cable and uh, will just typically destroy a cutting blade before it's able to um, get through that, that barrier. So uh, just making it really tough um, and, and uh, above the threshold where most opportunistic minded criminals are willing to go to, to get the copper uh, that's in a cable. Um, in, in addition to the steel shield, we have something called the, the die defender. Um, and this is a, a coiled up version. Um, and this is actually pressurized with a blue dye. Um, it's uh, all food grade ingredients, so no harmful chemicals, but if it is punctured with a cutting tool, the dye will spray and uh, you know, both serve as a visual deterrent, but also you know, mark the cable and the, the thief potentially um, with, with a blue color, making it easier to identify if, if a cable's stolen. So uh, we offer that as an add-on, um, but the, the core steel shield is uh, um, you know, a, a really uh, effective deterrent. We've uh, deployed about 2,000 of these now out in uh, out in the real world and uh, knock on wood, but no successful thefts to date of, of anything that's been installed. So it's working real well and uh, yeah, we're, we're glad to help with uh, maintaining these chargers and keep them up. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you don't have to be foolproof. You just need to be, you know, a pain in the ass enough to prevent somebody from wanting to try. Exactly. Right? That's our job is to identify <laughs> what's that threshold of pain in the ass to, <laughs> to get them to just go away. And Fantastic. So, and yeah. so you're based, uh, where are you based out of? Uh, we're right outside of Toledo, Ohio. Great. Yep. Uh, so we manufacture there, ship everything out of there. And uh, what you're doing is really important so that we can all charge and not have to Absolutely. see an empty cable waiting for us. So. Yeah, we're, we're glad to be part <laughs> of the solution for sure. Great, yeah. thanks. Thank you.